Are you sometimes overwhelmed by the different directional characteristics of microphones? Don't worry. Today we are going to take a closer look at the most popular. The directional characteristic of a microphone determines how it reacts to sound from different directions. There are various types and each has its own special uses. Let's go through the most important ones. Omnidirectional. This microphone picks up sound evenly from all directions. It is ideal if you want to capture the entire room sound, for example in a conference or for ambient recordings. But beware, omnidirectional microphones also capture a lot of background noise, which makes them less suitable for loud environments. If this is what you're looking for, our Retro Tube 2 can switch between nine directional patterns, including omnidirectional. Cardioid mics are named after their heart-shaped sensitivity curve. They pick up sound mainly from the front and reduce sound from the sides and rear, making them perfect for vocals, instrument recordings or live performances where you only want to capture the sound of a specific source. They also help to minimize feedback on stage. Examples would be our MB85 as well as our SC1200. Supercardioid and Hypercardioid. These characteristics are similar to the cardioid, but they are even more focused on the sound source in front. These microphones are great for film productions or on stage when you want to isolate sound sources precisely. Check out our MB85 Vita if you're doing live vocals or our MB20 for broadcast recording for example. Eight or bidirectional. As the name suggests, a figure of eight microphone is a fantastic choice for interviews where two people are sitting opposite each other or for certain stereo recording techniques. It picks up sound from two directions, front and back, but not from the sides. The only downside is that it is sensitive to sound from both directions, so you need to keep an eye on ambient noise. An example microphone for this type of directional characteristic is our RB500. We'd love to know which directional characteristic you use most often and which ones you haven't used yet. 